Hello guys, in today's session we will discuss DDL in HBase as we have already covered the part for DDL part 1 and now we are going to cover the part for DDL part 2. So as we are aware that your DDL stands for data definition language and is a standard for commands that define the data structures in a database or we can say data definition language statements are used to define the database structure or the schema in HBase. So have a look data definition language starting with the first that is disable so that is disable a command so have a look how to disable a table so as we are already aware that is whenever we want to delete or drop the table in that case at first we need to disable the table so by disable uh, for disabling we need to we have to write the command that is disable and followed by the command that is a table name that is easy learning so in this case only will be able to disable the table now how to disable all table matching given rejects that is your regular expressions when you talk about regular expressions simply by writing the command disable underscore all starting with easy dot asterisk that shows that whatever the tables which we are having inside edge base shell starting with easy starting with easy all tables will get disabled so this is something that uh, in short we can directly write it as disable instead of uh, disabling one single one individual tables separately we can directly write the command that is disable underscore all which will be going to give us uh, the desired output that is disabling all the tables starting with uh, easy by using regular expressions that is a uh, dot and asterisk now how to verify that table is disabled or not so we may need to verify may need to check this part here we use is underscore disabled and followed by the table name this command is used to find whether a table is disabled or not so for this we having the following example which verifies whether your table name easy learning is disabled or not so if it is disabled it will return true if not in that case it will return as false this is uh, for the part disabled or not that whether the table is disabled or not now next part here we are having how to enable a table so as we have already disabled the table so in that case one of the options are available with us that is to enable so we can enable the table that is by using command enable and followed by the name of the table so for this example which we have taken that is enable followed by the name of the table that is easy learning now also it is the case as we have seen the part with disable underscore all which will be going to disable all the tables by using those regular expressions that is easy dot asterisk same goes here we are having the command that is enable underscore all which help you to enable all the tables which is there inside the edge base shell now the other command which we are having that is to verify that the table is enabled or not so in that case we can check it out by writing the command is underscore enabled and followed by the table name so the following code will be going to verify whether the table name easy learning is enabled or not so if it is enabled it will return as uh, true and if it is not in that case it will return as false so now let's have a look uh, practically that will make you more clear So here as you can see we are inside the uh, edge base shell so at first we'll be going to have the tables uh, for this I'll be going to check the tables which we are having inside edge base shell so in edge base shell we are having easy one easy two easy three easy five and easy learning so then t t1 so these are basically the number of tables which is there inside edge base shell so what exactly I'll be going to do as uh, I'll be going to first uh, show you to disable it so I'll be going to write the command disable and followed by the name of the table that is easy one so finally your data your table has been disabled now we'll be going to check this particular part that whether this particular table has been disabled or not so for this we are having command this underscore disabled then followed by the name of the table that is easy one so it is showing as true yes this one just now we have disabled so that's why it is showing as the output as true now we'll be going to check it out for easy to which we haven't disabled now obviously it'll be going to show as 
false. So this is how basically we use disabled command and then is disabled command. Now we'll be going to check it out. Disable underscore all. So disable underscore all and followed by the part as easy dot asterisk, which will be going to disable all the tables starting with easy. So here we're having easy one, two, three, five, and easy learning. So as soon as we put the enter, options are there. Easy one, two, three, five, and learning. So disable the five tables. So in this case, if you are saying no, it won't be going to disable. If you are using Y, so in that case, all your table will get disabled. So finally, five tables successfully disabled, which it shows over here. So this is the part for disable underscore all. Now we'll be going to check it out whether it's disabled or not. So we're going to write the command is underscore disabled and then followed by the name of the table like say for example 5 so it's true this showing as true now if I'm using say for example easy 4 which doesn't even exist so in that case it'll be going to show us the output that unknown table easy 4 and if I'm using t1 if it is there so in that case, it will be show us false. So this is basically the part for is disabled. Now we'll be going to start with the part for enabling the table as uh, we are aware that uh, if I'm writing is disabled, easy to, it is showing as true. Now what exactly I'll be going to do, I'll be going to enable this particular table. So for this, I'll be going to write the command enable and followed by the name of the table that is easy to now finally your data your table has been enabled now we'll be going to check it out is disabled is underscore disabled and followed by the name of the table that is easy to now we'll be going to show it as false why because just now we have enabled this table so same goes as we are aware if we check with the uh, easy three in that case it will be going to show as true why because all your tables starting with easy has been disabled and only easy 2 has been enabled so that's why it is showing false for easy 2 and easy 3 it is showing us true yes it has been disabled now what exactly I'll be going to do as I've already disabled all the parts so all the tables starting with easy now I'll be going to enable all the tables for this I'm going to use the command enable underscore all and followed by the same command that is easy dot asterisk now all your table is asking the part that enable the above five tables yes or no yes so finally we'll be going to enable all the tables so finally here we are done with this enable underscore all so now you'll be going to check it out by writing the command is underscore enabled or not that is first easy one so it is showing as true if I'm use easy for uh, table unknown table now if I'm using t1 so in that case it's a true obviously is enabled so it is showing as true so this is how basically we use these commands that is disable disable underscore all and is disabled and followed by the enabling part that is your enable, enable underscore all, and is underscore enable. So these are basically the commands falls under the part of DDL part two. So this is about DDL commands.